Oh, hi. It's snowing out. It's fantastically beautiful. And I'm on a mission today to make a nice vlog and to make some nice photos. But uh, I got a hot tip from a friend. I haven't been able to find any bluebirds. It's been a weird bluebird season. And uh, bluebird season is gonna come to a screeching halt here soon. It's uh, second half of April right now. We're getting that beautiful snowstorm, of course. And um, a friend of mine, Joel, told me that he found some bluebirds the other day. So uh, he gave me the hot tip and I'm up here to look for these bluebirds. And so hopefully I'm able to find the birds and make some interesting photos today. Uh, the snow will make it interesting to autofocus because bluebirds move so fast as it is uh, that they're really hard to get focused. And if it's snowing like this, you know, even the fancy cameras can't deal with this kind of snow and a bluebird flying rapidly around. So I don't have much hope for this exact situation, but the snow should be coming and going, uh, assuming I can find the bluebirds. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll talk more about that when I get back out there, but that's what I'm gonna try and do today is find some bluebirds to photograph and make some video of. So thanks for coming along. I'm gonna be shooting today with the Nikon Z9. Oh, it's so heavy. Just kidding, it's very light. This is the uh, new 400 millimeter 2.8 lens with the built-in teleconverter. And I'll see how close I can get to the Bluebirds, but usually they're pretty skittish. So I'll probably need every bit of that. And I might even throw on this teleconverter as well. One, another 1 1.4 so I can get you know, I can get up to over 1,100 millimeters if I need to with teleconverters. We'll see. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a bit once I hopefully go find some bluebirds in this amazing snowstorm. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. Well, I found bluebirds, but they have moved like 100 yards up the river that way. Uh, so, so far, I only really got one, one decent photo of a bluebird in a beautiful evergreen tree, but in the amazing snow. It was wonderful. Uh, small in the frame, so not exactly, I'm not done, that's for sure. I'm just, just getting started here, hopefully, with photos, but bluebirds are just so skittish, usually, and that's why they go 100 yards away. So, uh, I've got a couple shots in the camera here and then um i think i'm just going to find a good spot to just lay low and sit here probably it might take a half hour maybe even an hour i hope not before they get comfortable with me being here and come back to where they were feeding a minute ago because they've clearly moved away so uh the snow and the autofocus it actually it's working just fine right now but if it gets much heavier it's going to be real real trouble and uh, other than that, I'm just trying to keep two thousandth of a second shutter speed out here and make sure that the snow is nice and bright white. So using my exposure compensation to make sure the snow is nice and white and uh, making sure I have a fast enough shutter speed because these bluebirds are moving really fast. I would prefer faster than that, but there's not that much light and I don't want to get my, I want to keep my ISO under 1600 today for maximum image quality because there's a lot of detail in those birds and the feathers. So that's kind of my thought process right now. I just got to settle down and hopefully find a good spot where the birds will come back and accept me into their environment so that I can make some nice photos. But what a just spectacularly beautiful... Oop, there goes one right there. That was a nice, beautiful male. Very vibrant. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, spectacularly beautiful April day. It's just magic snowfall out here. So I'm gonna hang out in the snow and see if the birds will get comfortable with me. Oh, here comes an osprey. Maybe he'll go hunting. What's up, buddy? Little bonus. Maybe while I'm waiting, an osprey will 
do something interesting. All right, gotta go, gotta make some photos, hopefully. much of an update. Uh, I've had a couple of like situations where bluebirds come like a little flock of a dozen or so will come blow through, stop very briefly. I can make a few photos. They've been working on eating some little midges off the snow across the bank over there. Uh, so n not, not anything great yet. A um, couple of mediocre like perched opportunities. But no good flight ops and nothing sustained. It's been like they land, they see me, and they bail. <laughs> so in like an hour, I've been sitting here. Um, I've had two flybys where a handful of birds will come through and leave. So pretty slow overall, but uh, I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to go back to the car and eat some lunch and uh, warm up my butt because it's been sitting in the snow. I have a butt pad in the car. I don't know why I didn't bring it but I'm gonna get the butt pad so I can uh, not freeze my arse off, literally, out here. When I come back, and hopefully the bluebirds will be more active here in a little bit. But overall, it's lovely just to sit here and watch and see what might happen. Nothing amazing has happened yet, but it's a beautiful situation and lots of good things could happen. So hopefully something good does. This is hard. So uh, the bluebirds have totally left the scene. I haven't seen one. I don't know. I've been here another half hour waiting after having lunch. But some uh, swallows have come by out here. And like, I never even ever stood a chance at photographing a swallow in flight until um, the Sony A1 came out and I used that and I was able to track and get some swallows in flight. So uh, I'm trying that now with the Z9. And uh, so far it appears to be working. Uh, it, it's very difficult, but uh, I am able to get them in focus and it's tracking them even in the snowfall, which is kind of shocking to me. So that's super cool. Uh, we'll see when I get home how many of them are actually tack sharp, but uh, it's, I'm shooting <laughs> with two, two 1.4X teleconverters here. So uh, at almost 800 millimeters, trying to handhold and track birds in flight is really difficult. But it's, it's a fun challenge, so I'm gonna get back at it while these guys are super active out here on the water. Picking, they're just picking off um, bugs off the water here, little midges or something.
there so fast. Jeez. Oh man, missed a good opportunity there. Oh. Shoot. Well, there's only one left. The rest bailed. All right. Well, oh, there's one. Oh, sheesh. I just having a real hard time. They're pretty close, and I'm trying to get the hero shot at 800 millimeters. And not succeeding at the moment. All right. I think I'm going to quit. Uh, it's been too long. I think the bluebirds are done for the day or they, they left the area. I haven't seen one for like over an hour. And the swallows actually just left too. So I think that's my cue to get back on the road, head back towards town. I'm going to go to a hot yoga class in a little bit. Oh yeah. Uh, but anyway, so this will be the end of the video, unless by chance I find something on the drive back to town, which is totally possible. Um, anyway, it was, a, it was a fun outing out here. This, here's the butt pad I mentioned, right? Yep. Makes a big difference out here, not having a cold butt. So uh, buy one of those off Amazon. I'll do a little link to those. They're really inexpensive um, and pretty durable. A-OK. -okay. So thanks for watching. Uh, there's only going to be a couple of photos, I think, uh, out of the out of the day here. Um, didn't really have any opportunities for bluebirds in flight, unfortunately, but I got some nice perched photos. So uh, it was wonderful to be out here, of course. And really, the only bluebirds I've seen this spring. It's been a weird bluebird year. So thanks again to Joel. Check his Instagram out uh, for letting me know that he found some uh, bluebirds the other day. And sure enough, they were here. They just weren't particularly cooperative for me today. So that's how it goes out here, but thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.